If you're a beginner in OBS Studio and you want to know how to use it to record videos within just a couple minutes, then this is the right video for you. Let's do okay, this. Okay, so you download OBS Studio at obsproject.com and select your operating system. This is how it will look like when you have downloaded the software. And the first thing you need to do is to add a brand new scene. And you do this by going to the scenes box and plus button and adding your scene. Okay. To fill up this black void, you will need to add sources to your scene. And I'm going to show you a couple of sources that are pretty basic that everyone should add from the beginning. And the first one, if you click on the plus button at sources, is going to be one called either display capture or game capture. Display capture is basically everything you do on your computer screen will be shown in OBS Studio. And game capture is when you want to capture one specific game window. So if you make gaming videos, game capture is a good choice for you but i'm gonna go with display capture okay and uh we can select my screen there okay and oh, we can definitely see my whole screen on my recordings now another one is going to be a source called video capture device this is in case you have a camera connected to your computer whether that's a webcam or a dslr it doesn't matter as long as it's connected to your computer it should work a video capture device add it like this and select the device you want so i'm gonna take my uh, logitech c920 and hey there. you don't need to change any of these settings just okay and you can resize it using these boxes around the border of the source to uh yeah to your liking put it wherever you want to maybe maybe at the corner like this and in case you want to basically remove parts from a source because it's too big or it doesn't fit somewhere you want then you can hold the key alt a l t on your keyboard and just drag it uh to crop it let me show you so hold a l t and we can drag it like this and maybe remove it to create a box. Audio is so important when making videos. So the next source we're going to be adding is a source called audio input capture. This is going to be your microphone. So people can hear uh, all the beautiful things you have to say to your audience. Select the microphone we have. I'm going to choose my um, Shure MV7 microphone, which, which is this guy. Nice. If we click on OK, when added, we can see at the audio mixer if the source is working as it should. Uh, and yeah, here we can see that it is moving when I'm talking into the microphone, so it indeed is working. Of course, you'll also need to add a source for your computer audio, and that source is going to be called Audio Output Capture. And here, select whatever headphones or device you have for your computer audio. So for me, it's going to be my headset earphone Arctis 5. Chat. I like that. And we got it there as my audio output capture. Quickly go over to settings down over here and the output section and click on the recording section. Now make sure your output mode is set to advanced. If we don't want to go simple and cheap on the settings, make sure you click on advanced. From here at the encoder, if you do have the option to choose anything other than x264 that is likely an encoder for your gpu like for example nvidia and vink and uh, gpus are generally better at encoding streams so therefore i would advise you to at least try out using your gpu encoder which i'm going to do scrolling down a bit you really have to play around with these settings just like humans all computers are unique and you need their own specific specified settings for ob a studio so just play around with them and see what works for you you can pause the video right now and uh, copy the settings that i use for recording see if it works for you if not then you could try scaling down the quality a bit from the settings if your computer is a bit lower end and it doesn't handle this you can click on that beautiful button start recording and to the right of it when you are recording you can actually pause the recording so say you want to go for a uh, toilet break then you can just click on the pause icon and boom it will be paused for you and when you come back you click on it again and it will start right from uh, where it left off Click on stop recording again to save the recording and don't panic if you can't find your recordings on your computer from the start. Just look at your left upper hand corner in OBS Studio, click on file 
and show recordings and you will get your folder up there uh, with all the recordings that have been saved from uh, OBS Studio. Okay, so these were the quick basics for recording an OBS Studio, but there is so much more and advanced stuff to it. Make sure to click on one of the playlists over here if uh, you are interested in learning more about OBS Studio and how to make your recordings in OBS Studio so much better. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.